We are back in the workroom after being summoned by RuPaul, I wonder what she wants. Either way I'm happy to have survived another week, and I did really good last week which I thought I could have been in the top 2 but congrats to Thorn and Ida, they honestly did deserve it and I'm happy that Thorn chose Lois over Candace to go home. She's my season 8 sister and we haven't spoken as much, well every time we have it's been when Raquel was here and then Candace would go blabber what Raquel said to the other queens, even though she's my season sister I don't trust her, and I may have to give her the chop, if I'm ever back in the top spot. I'm walking into this workroom as a winner, for the first time ever and it feels correct. Especially after that girl group challenge and we honestly slayed that performance, well, most of us, by Lois, you won't be missed. She's so bitter, she did leave me and Bugs a hurtful mirror message, but I'm more of a star than she will ever be. She's been here three times and flopped all three runs, whilst Bugs on the other hand, this is his third time also being here, and he's been doing great just like his last two runs, I gotta keep an eye on him, I know he's tough competition, I watched season 4 and All Stars 1. But I'm excited to see what we have all been summoned for, I was happy drinking my cocktail ha. Huh? I'm so grateful walking in this workroom as a winner, well in the top 2. But here on All Stars we class these top twos as wins, sorry Christy, sorry Grandpa Simpson. That win meant so much to me to show RuPaul that I'm not that queen you seen on season 6 where I was bullied and harassed by Peter Griffin and I couldn't reach my potential, but things have changed since then. I'm Ida Davis, Tony Award winner, Golden Globe winner and now Cartoon Drag Race Challenge winner, also soon to be All Stars 4 winner. I'm a little nervous now I have a win because the way things have been going, we are only sending home challenge winners, and Grimm and Spongebob are now the only queens here without a win, could that change? Possibly, they're talented queens and as they say, anything can happen here at Cartoon Drag Race. The queens gather in the workroom and they congratulate both Thorn and Ida for their win in top 2 last week and they congratulate Candice for surviving the elimination, they thank them. Candace thanks both Thorne and Ida once again for not sending her home, Thorne tells her not a problem she's a fan of Candace and she's enjoyed working alongside her. Oh my god, did you hear that? Thorne loves working alongside me and that means so much. I thought I was being so creepy last week. I wouldn't stop observing her work, but when you have a lyrical genius right in front of you, it's hard not to stare. I need to show her and Ida that they chose the correct queen to send home, no shade to Lois I've loved working with you, I've worked with every queen this season, I have a very strong social game and I think that's worked in my favor, but there's still a little voice inside me saying your time is up, and I need to show myself that is not the case and get myself back in the top. Candace thanks her and said she's enjoyed working with her, and then looks to everyone and said she's enjoyed working with every single one of them and now with so little of them here, she will miss everyone here. Spongebob tells the queens he's going to miss shading Lois Griffin, the queens all laugh. Oh Lois, it was entertaining to have you around, someone to throw some shade at. She couldn't handle it, but that's because she's not a strong queen. She's had three chances to win the crown, and just this season, she's been at the bottom three times. I can't relate to that, nor to winning, but I need to step up my game and dive into this competition. With only seven of us left, and the remaining queens being tough competition. Honestly, aside from Lois Griffin, the entire cast of All Stars 4 is fierce competition. Come on, SpongeBob, time to join the race. I need a comedy challenge to kickstart my momentum. Grimm asked the queens what has been their favorite moment so far, Bugs Bunny said being in the top for the ball challenge. Candace said being a two-time Snatch Game winner. SpongeBob said seeing Thorn here, Thorne thanks Spongebob and said her favorite moment, apart from seeing Celia be sent home, was her getting her first win. Ida agreed with Thorne and said getting her first win in Cartoon Drag Race means so much to her. Spongebob said more than her Tony Award? Ida chuckles and said no not at all. Barbie said sending Raquel home. There's a little bit of silence, Barbie tells the queens she had to do that because Raquel would have sent her home first. Bugs said to Barbie he loves and respects her, but he feels that Raquel wouldn't do such things. Barbie tells Bugs she could feel it in her bones she would do that, Grimm says the only thing in his bones he feels is getting a win this week, the queens all laugh. Well since I did ask that question but didn't give my answer, my favorite moment this season was where I was in the top for the ball, a challenge that sent me home on my original season, 
but it was a shame I wasn't one of the top two queens, but like I said I feel it in my bones a challenge win is coming my way, I have to wait it out, and call me crazy but I want another design challenge. So Barbie's favorite moment was sending her sister and friend of 20 years home? I really don't trust her anymore, out of everything here, sending your sister home is your favorite moment? Not um, I don't know, your first win? I know I haven't known Raquel long enough like Barbie but I know for a fact she would not send Barbie home, she's not helping herself right now, when she said that the room went quiet. Barbie better hope she can keep up the momentum, I personally would not send her home, I've worked alongside her since day one and I respect her a lot. But some of these queens as we know are cutthroat, they may not spare her like I would. Candace asks the queens what do they think this so-called emergency is? Grimm said he doesn't know it could be anything, Thorne agreed and said knowing RuPaul she will bring back Red Guy, they all laugh. Spongebob looks at Candace and said to her, life is a mystery everyone must stand alone. Candace said that's lovely. Spongebob adds, I hear you call my name and it feels like home. Candace confused, asked who said that? Spongebob told her, it's Madonna darling, and then breaks out into song and sings like a prayer, the queens all join in. Honestly that Spongebob is a character, I love his energy here, one minute he's riddling, the next he's throwing shade and now he's singing Madonna. Props to you Spongebob for keeping us all entertained here. These queens love it when I confuse them, like what does Madonna have to do with this situation? Nothing, unless we're getting a Madonna-based challenge? Then maybe I'm actually psychic, and Madonna, if you're watching, Candace loves your lyrics. Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> Here she comes, Mother Dust. RuPaul I'm so ready for another challenge, now I've had a win, I'm hungry for another, I do hope we get an acting challenge, we haven't had one yet. My queens, I did give you a little scare last week didn't I? There is actually no emergency. Wait what, no emergency, so I actually had time to finish my cocktail, oh RuPaul that was so mean. I just wanted to see you all together again, all of you. What does she mean? All of us? Why is RuPaul speaking in riddles like Spongebob, is she going to offer us milk and cookies? Oh no what does she mean, all of us, I'm a little scared. I think I know exactly what she means now, I'm even more scared of who's to come. It feels like just yesterday I was here. Ah, uh, it's the eliminated queens, but I'm happy I get to see Raquel again. Well, I'm back, once again, fourth time's the charm haha, but I don't know what I'm doing back here, I think I might have a chance to come back in a return type of challenge I guess? The doll never forgets. Oh crap, it's Raquel, I didn't think I'd see her again so soon, when I saw Lois come through I was hoping Raquel turned down the offer to come back, but no here she is. Well well, I'm back, did you miss me? I was gagged that Barbie sent me home, and to see her still in the competition is wild, I thought she would've flopped without me there, just like on season 8. But good for you sister, but we do need a talk. I'm fully recharged I got to see my man Fry, my potion sisters, Zelda and Ling, and my best friend, Red Guy. The doll is back with her head screwed on. Googly bears, the bitch is back. Oh god not her, I can't wait to hear how much favoritism I've had once again, or off will you, it's getting exhausting already. Googly bears, I'm back, not by choice though. I was forced to come by production, I did not want to come back because, surprise surprise, Thorn is still here. I wonder how she's made it this far, honestly Daphne needs to be fired. I don't even care if I get blacklisted from future seasons, I speak the truth here, and I've got better things to do, I actually managed to get a callback for the A Star Is Born musical, sorry Ida, you missed your chance by still being here, but I'm happy for you my sister. Miss Pokemon is in the building. Yay, seeing Misty here again is amazing, I've actually missed her so much, and did she say Miss Pokemon? Oh wow, when I got eliminated I thought my time was done. So I went back home and I was invited to compete at Miss Pokemon once again. And then I lost, and you guessed it Florges won. But then she went back to her old ways and slept with a judge again. And then she was stripped of her crown and title of Miss Pokemon, which now belongs to me as the first runner-up. So I finally won Miss Pokemon, and to my sister Florges, keep your legs closed next time sister, you didn't need to do that, you're a talented queen. But I could even have the opportunity to return to the competition, and then go on to win another crown and title. But oh my god seeing Raquel eliminated, that's so shocking, 
I'm dying to know who eliminated her. Wait, no Chief Wiggum? He really did say this has been fun I'm out, but I don't blame him leaving the competition with the best track record in PPE of all time, good for you sister. My queens it's so good to have you all back together as a family. Firstly I need to address Chief Wiggum's absence. We did offer him an opportunity to come back but he politely declined, Chief Wiggum we are sending our love to you, secondly, congratulations Misty on winning the title of Miss Pokemon. Now here's where things get interesting. This return challenge will be like no other. You will participate in a lip sync la la perusa, where one of the eliminated queens will take on one of the remaining queens to compete for their spot in this competition. Now Celia don't get too excited because as last week's top two queens, Thorn and Ida you will both be immune from this week's Lollapurusa. Of course she's immune from it why wouldn't she be? Hashtag favoritism strikes again. Off that judging panel reeks of it. Queens I will let you know that one of the lip syncs will be a three-way lip sync due to Chief Wiggum not wanting to return, and who gets to choose who takes on who. Well I'll let you decide the battles, but before that, why don't you all get reunited and I'll see you on the main stage where we will be joined by our extra special guest judge. Lip Sync Assassin of Season 8. Sailor Saturn, not Sailor Moon. Now good luck and don't F it up. Sailor Saturn will be our guest judge, that's amazing. It will be nice to see my Season 8 sister again, the last time I saw her. Well I sent her home in a lip sync, and my god she was amazing, I was surprised I beat her to be honest. I think the only queen in that lineup I don't want to take on in the Lalaparusa is Raquel, she's a fierce lip syncer and I know she could send me home, the others, hmm, maybe not Misty either. Oh that's kinda good news, I'm safe another week, me and Thorn get to witness the carnage that's about to unfold, without fearing for our safety, I know Celia is absolutely fuming about it, not about me I think, definitely Thorn, I can tell already just looking into her eye. The queens all gather round and reunite. Spongebob said can they say a prayer for Chief Wiggum, Celia said no, and then looks to Thorn and said it's kinda funny how you're safe and no one else is. Ida tells Celia did she not hear RuPaul? She's also safe. Celia tells Ida she's very happy for her, she deserves it and said Thorn is only safe because production knew she was coming back this week to send her home. Ugh, here she goes again, I can see Thorn getting annoyed, and I am so annoyed myself, I'm going to give her a piece of my mind, that little ugly monster, ugly personality and ugly hair. Okay Grim calm down, we have to remain calm. Just as Thorn was about to open her mouth, Grim looks to Celia and tells her to shut the fuck up, and to leave Thorn alone, she earned her win last week and Celia would be able to see for herself if she didn't bomb the Snatch Game. Oh my god, a lot has happened since I've been gone by the sounds of it and I'm so sad I missed the drama. But I understood why Raquel sent me home. I've gotten over that now. I knew my fate the moment she won that lip sync. But I need to find out the tea. Celia tells Grimm to stay out of this, and what is he? Thorn's drag mother? Grim looks to Celia and said yes he is, and said he's now also Spongebob's drag mother. You know what, I'm so emotional right now, I've never had someone stick beside me like Grim has, and now I get to call him my drag mother, and now Spongebob is my actual drag sister, I love my little drag family, get her mother Grim. Oh my god, my new mommy, I'm scrapping my favorite moment being seeing Thorn again, this right here is my favorite moment. The love I have for both Grim and Thorn is off the chart and I might have to start going at Celia if she carries on. Celia scoffs at Grim and tells him she's going to not say anything other than she got her call back for a star is born and doesn't need to be here, Thorn tells her good and go home then. Celia tells her she was forced to be here and looks to Ida and said she's missed out on a big opportunity. Ida said she will be fine, being here having a better edit than she is, will get her more opportunities, Celia asked her what does she mean by that, Ida told her never mind she's looking stunning today, Celia said like every day. I'm a little gutted I missed out on my callback for A Star Is Born, the musical. But I know when I get home from this show, I'll have plenty of opportunities lined up for me, and Celia, well, I'm surprised she even got that callback. But maybe the casting directors will see what she's actually like on set and fire her. Oops I didn't mean that, I love you my sister. Raquel, looking to Barbie asks her why the hell did she send her home. Barbie nervously tells Raquel she did it to open the competition up for everyone else. Raquel said that's the most bullshit excuse, and she threw away 20 years of friendship down the drain just like that. 
Raquel starts crying and said to Barbie, that she gave her extra bags for that challenge, she helped her in that challenge and still sent her home, Barbie said she's so sorry, Raquel told her sorry isn't good enough, Barbie, offers her 20 of her Chanel bags, Raquel said fine she will accept them, and accepts her apology and tells her the doll never forgets. Barbie said she hopes they can mend their relationship, Raquel rolls her eyes. That was such a poor excuse, I sent you home because I wanted to make the competition more fair, girl please, but I'll take the 20 Chanel bags, she's lucky I only ripped one to shreds, I guess I'll have to claim that one, but I'm looking forward to this la la perusa and I know who I definitely want to go up against. Oh my god, so Barbie sent home Raquel? That I did not see coming, I thought maybe Lois Griffin to be honest, but not Barbie that is wild, things went downhill since I was chopped haha. Grim looks to Raquel and asks her why is she getting so mad over Barbie eliminating her, when she wanted to quit in the first place because the pressure was getting to her. Raquel asked Grim how did he know that, Grim said Candace mentioned it during Untucked. Barbie and Bugs Bunny look at each other. Oh my god, I totally forgot Candace said that, in Untucked, oh this won't be good for her. And I think me and Raquel are okay now. I've lost out on 20 Chanel bags, but it'll be worth it to mend my relationship with her. One bag for every year I've known her? I guess I'll give her some glitter as well. We both love our glitter, Raquel I'm so sorry. I knew it wasn't just a one-time thing with Candace. I know a snake when I see one. Well clearly not well enough. Yes I'm looking at you Barbie. Oh Candace, the doll doesn't forget Misty found out the hard way, but she took it well. And congrats sister on that Miss Pockman title. I knew Forges couldn't keep her legs closed long enough. Raquel thanks Grim for informing her about that, Grim confused asks her what does she mean? Raquel told the queens it was a little test for Candace. Candace puzzled, Raquel looks to her and said she likes to run her mouth a lot here. Oh no, I knew my mouth would get me in trouble. This is not what I want, this is not what I planned, and I just have to say, I do not understand. I need to let Raquel know it wasn't intentional, it just slipped out. Candace said to Raquel she's sorry it was just word vomit, it just slipped out her mouth, Raquel looks to her, and said what about you telling Lois I didn't want Joanne era, during the rusical, and what about you telling Misty about my plan to eliminate her. The queens are shocked, Candace said she's so sorry it wasn't intentional, she just slipped up and she really means it. Bugs looks to Raquel and said to her what Candace said wasn't intentional, and it was just in the moment. Raquel looks to Bugs, and said she believes him and said to Candace. She was just very annoyed by the whole situation and was going to confront her about it soon, but things got cut shortly. Candace apologizes once again and Raquel said she can see she's sincere about the situation and forgives her and they exchange a hug. Well, I guess the doll can forget after all. I can tell she didn't mean it and that it wasn't intentional. I thought she was going to cry on me. But Bugs Bunny said she just slipped up and you know what I believe you Bugs. And I know he didn't choose my lipstick. I just know it. Candace I forgive you. Thank God Bugs Bunny had my back. I really didn't mean no harm it wasn't intentional, I just have a blabber mouth sometimes and tend to slip up, but I think me and Raquel are back on good terms now, but Misty that was quite shady of you to do that to me, but I'm not going to say nothing, I don't want no drama. Lois tells Raquel, whilst she was discussing the roles in the rusical Candace did bring up she didn't want the Joanne era and she was looking out for her. Raquel asks her why did she give it to her then? Lois tells her because she was the biggest competition there and she needed to shake her, Raquel laughs and said she made the wrong choice because she won that challenge and then looks to Misty and said sorry sister, Misty giggled and said apology accepted. Lois looks to Bugs and Thorn and said she meant that mirror message by the way and then tells the eliminated queens they have to go and choose their lip sync opponents. The eliminated queens go off and discuss. Oh I need to know what mirror message Lois gave them both. I hope she called out the favoritism like I did. Lois asks the queens who do they actually want and one of them has to participate in the three-way lip sync. Celia said she doesn't care she will take on two queens, Lois said she's feeling brave, Celia tells her the only person she wanted to be stood next to on that stage was Thorn, but she's safe. Celia then asks Lois what did she write on the mirror for them. Lois chuckled and said it was the exact same as All Stars 1 for Bugs Bunny but added Thorn's name to it as well, Misty asked her what it said. Lois tells them, reach for the stars because you'll never be one. Celia tells her that's amazing, Misty said it's not quite professional, Lois said she didn't care about professionalism. Raquel tells the queens she's taking on Barbie. Lois said that's understandable and said she wants Bugs Bunny. Misty said she will take on Candace. 
Celia rolls her eye, and said she will happily take on Thorne's new drag family. They all wish each other luck. I don't care if Misty thinks it's professional or not, I'll do it again if I have to, but we've all chosen our opponents and it's rabbit season bitches. Before the Lollapurooza, Thorne thanks Grimm for standing up for her against Celia, Grimm tells Thorne not to thank him, he couldn't stand watching that psychopath lash out on his drag daughter like that, Thorne tells them both to bring it in for a group hug and wished them both the best of luck. Just as they're ready to go, Barbie, Bugs and Raquel add some final touches to their makeup, Raquel looks to Bugs and tells him to slay that old hag Lois, Bugs asked Raquel did Lois choose him? Raquel nodded, Bugs thanks her and asked who did she choose, Raquel said Candace. Barbie breathes a sigh of relief, and wished them all the best of luck, Raquel winked at Bugs then nodded and continued applying her makeup. Thank you Raquel, she gave me some insider tea that Lois chose me to lip sync against and you know what, I'm happy she did. I want to send that bitch back home once again, let's go for the rematch baby. All stars one style, I sent her home then and girl I will send her home again. Raquel also mentioned she chose Candace's lipstick but I think she might be playing because she winked at me then looked to Barbie, and to be honest, I don't blame her, I can't wait to see how this turns out. Music please. Welcome to the main stage of Cartoon Drag Race All-Stars 4, let me introduce to you tonight's judging panel. Up first he is one of our resident judges, All-Stars 1 champion and drag icon, he's Roger. Up next she is another resident judge, All-Stars 2 champion and lip-sync assassin, she's Daphne Blake. And our extra special guest judge, she is the lip-sync assassin of season 8, she is Sailor Saturn, welcome home darling. This week our all-stars reunite and fight for their spot in the competition in an old-fashioned lip-sync Lollapurooza, now good luck and don't F it up. Now let the Lollapurooza commence, Lois Griffin will you please reveal your opponent? Well this choice was pretty easy for me, reach for the stars you'll never be one. I've chosen Bugs Bunny. The time has come, for you to lip-sync, for your life! I've got the perfect song, and the perfect queen I want to send home, Night Night Bugs. Oh I'm not worried at all, it's Lois Griffin, like I said in the workroom, music please. Bugs Bunny and Lois Griffin will lip sync. The lip sync song is Express Yourself by Madonna. Ladies, I've made my decision. Bugs Bunny. Shantae you stay. Lois Griffin. Sashay away. Misty, will you please step forward and reveal your chosen opponent? Well, the queen I did originally want to lip sync against is also lip syncing for their return tonight. Love you Raquel's sister, but the queen I have chosen is Candace Flynn. Um, what? Misty chose Candace? Oh god no, Raquel has chosen me hasn't she, I'm sure of it. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. Okay, me versus Misty, I think I can take her, and the last queen I lip-synced for my life against is sitting right across from me on that judging panel, if I can send home Sailor Saturn, I'm sure I can send home Misty. I wanted Raquel originally, because I didn't think she would be eliminated so soon, but I chose Candace because I think she's a weak lip-synker and I know I can send her home. Candace Flynn and Misty will lip-sync, the lip-sync song is Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Ladies. I've made my decision. Candace Flynn. Shantae, you stay. Misty. Sashay away. Celia, will you please step forward and reveal the name of your chosen opponent? RuPaul, Googly Bear. I think you mean opponents and I will happily send both of Thorne's drag family home. Which is why I have chosen Grimm and SpongeBob. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life! Well, if I'm not sending Thorne home, I'll send her new drag mother and drag sister home, haha. Ha. And then I'll think about staying, only to send Thorne home right in front of Daphne's face. Oh I will be mad if she sends me or Spongebob home, I doubt it, but I seen her lip sync during the rusical and she's good, damn I hate to say that, 
but I'm better and she is not I repeat not sending me home. Oh tartar sauce, I'm lip syncing against my new drag mother, I can't send Grim home, that's why we must both work as hard as possible to stay and to send that bitch packing. Grim, Spongebob and Celia will all lip sync. The lip sync song is, Poison, by Nicole Scherzinger. I've made my decision. Grim and Spongebob. Shantae, you stay. Celia. RuPaul, stop one moment. Um, Daphne, I don't really like being cut off like this but please tell me what you want to say. Googly bears what does she want now? I just want to go home. I lost that lip sync no shock hashtag favoritism. RuPaul, I want to be the one to send this bitch home please, let me lip sync against her. I will put my job as resident judge on the line. If she wins, she returns to the competition and I get fired. If I win, I get the absolute pleasure of sending her home. Oh, are you sure? Celia are you happy to lip sync against Daphne for one more chance to stay in the competition? If it means I have the opportunity to get her fired, then sure, bring it on bitch and may the best queen win. Okay then, we got ourselves another lip sync. Daphne get your ass up on that stage and lip sync like your job depends on it, well, because it does. The time has come for you to lip sync. For your life! Oh she's an absolute fool. I would have said no. But when she said she will put her job on the line, I immediately said yes. Hashtag fire Daphne is full steam ahead. Am I crazy, wanting to lip sync against her and putting my job on the line? A little. But all season, I've had this bitch degrade me as a judge, claiming favoritism just because I know Thorn. That's not the case, I'm very professional and when I'm on that judge's panel, I'm clocked into work, I don't see her saying such things about Roger. Because he knows Queen's here, Bugs Bunny and Lois Griffin for instance. But I'll happily put my job on the line to take her out, I'm quite the lip sync assassin, I've been in 11 lip syncs and won 10 of them, the only one I lost was during the season 5 finale against Yzma. So sending her home will be easy, music please. The lip sync song is, Where Have You Been, by Rihanna. Daphne slayed the lip sync, Celia had a great lip sync. Ladies, I've made my decision. Daphne. Shantae, you stay. Celia. Sashay away. Daphne, you crazy crazy bitch, well done you scalped her. Now Raquel, will you please step forward and reveal the final queen? Well well, save the best until last. I see you RuPaul, but the queen I have chosen is my good sister and backstabber, Barbie. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. Well, here we go, Battle of the Dolls. The only time I pictured myself standing across from Barbie was in the final lip sync for the crown, where we would both be crowned. But now I'm standing here about to send her home. Well, I sent her home once, and I guess I'll have to send her home again. And I was under the impression she was choosing Candace, so she's a liar. I'm sorry Raquel, but I deserve to be here more than you. Say hi to Fry and Lindsay for me sister. Barbie and Raquel will lip sync. The lip sync song is, Barbie Girl by Aqua. Ladies, I've made my decision. Raquel. Shantae, you stay. Barbie. You are an all-star. Now, sashay away. Wow, this is not what I envisioned today, but thank you so much. Raquel, I hope you slay the rest of the competition. Thank you. is untucked. The queens unwind and untucked, they all congratulate Raquel for returning to the competition, she thanks them and said it was hard to go up against Barbie, but she had to do what she had to do. Grim chuckled and said that's exactly what she said when she eliminated you, Raquel laughs and said now who has the last laugh. Bugs said every one of those lip syncs were incredible even Daphne versus Celia. Thorne tells them she was so shocked Daphne put her job on the line to send her home for good, Spongebob said she scalped her, they all laughed. Ida looks to Raquel and asked her does she feel like there is more pressure on her to do well? Raquel tells Ida and the queens yes and from next week she will be nothing but in the top because she can't afford to be in the bottom again because it'll be game over, Grim agreed. And they all split off, Ida apologizes to Raquel. A confused Raquel asks her why is she apologizing? 
Ida said she didn't want her thinking she was trying to stir up some drama about the question she asked, Raquel told her she was right to ask that question because she has to stay in the top from now on because she don't want to be chopped again. Ida thanks her for understanding, Bugs looks to Raquel and said he's so happy to have her back, and then asks would she have sent Barbie home if Barbie didn't send her home? Raquel said no she could never send home Barbie she was her friend of 20 years and she loved and admired her, then asks Bugs did he think she would? Bugs tells her no it was Barbie who actually thought that. Candace and Ida agreed and said Barbie told them this morning in the workroom, Raquel shocked said no she wouldn't have sent her home, she only had one queen on her hit list and that was Misty, and now she will be going off track record, they all agreed and drank their cocktails. Grim, Thorn and Spongebob all sit and drink their cocktails and discuss the Lollapurusa, Grim said it was nerve-wracking hearing those words again, lip-sync for your life, but told them when he was performing in front of RuPaul it gave him the fire to carry on slaying this competition. Spongebob agreed and said when lip-syncing he felt a rush of adrenaline and a spark to want to be here. Thorne told them what she witnessed was pure talent on that stage and said she would have loved to have sent Celia home but she's glad it was her family instead, and they all cheers and cheered for Daphne. Hey squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.